How's it going? I'm going to show you how to create a panel loop on GarageBand. So here we go. So first, what we want to do is we want to start a new song or template. So what we do is we hit the plus button on the top right corner. So I'll do that. It'll bring us to this layout. It'll show us live loops and tracks. We want to be on tracks and we want to be able to see keyboard first. So once you find that, you want to hit smart piano. All right, so now we got the piano layout, but this is kind of different where as if a piano, we don't see the keys like this. So how we make it realistic is we'll hit the red button on the right side. All right, so now we can see the keys as if it was a real life piano. So we could play something right now. So now what we want to do, say I want to change the sound of it. We'll tap the button in the middle where it says Grand Piano. So once you open up this selection, there's many different keyboards you can use where there's different sounds to them. So what I use the most is I use Mellow Vibe Piano and I use the Pop Producer Keys right here. So I'll click Pop Producer Keys. So now we got a different layout because it'll be a different sound to it. We can just play the piano now. We can play with one key. We can play with two keys. We can play with three keys. Something interesting that'll help you create your pian piano loop is the scale up above. The scale up above will help you time your piano precisely in where it'll sound fluent. So what we'll do is, here's an example of me not using the scale. So we'll start recording right now. So this is what it sounds like. It doesn't sound bad, but it isn't timed correctly. So how do we fix this? So what we'll do is we'll stop that and we'll get we'll undo it and we'll start and we'll try to time it correctly. So now let's record. All right, so I try my best to time it correctly. So let's listen to it. All right, that wasn't too bad, but we want it perfect. So how do we get, how do we edit it so it'll be perfect? So what you wanna do is you wanna go to the top left and hit the third button with the bars in it. We click that. You'll be brought to this layout where your instruments will be displayed. So here we are, we just played the piano and now our piano is displayed right here. So how do we edit this? We want to double tap the green. So one, two, now we hit edit. So we'll be brought to this menu right here. It's exactly what we just played, but you can see that isn't time right. So how do we know this? It's the two and the three. We want to make sure that, that our key plays to the two all the way to the three. So we'll move this green to the two and bring it over to the three. Same thing with this one. Two, bring it, bring the end to the three. Two, end to the three. So now we'll do the same thing with the rest of them. Z wavy on the track. All right, so now it's done. Now you hit done on the top right corner. All right, and we'll move this to the beginning. All right, so now let's play it. Now 
that sounds much better. So now, how do we make it into a loop? So now we'll double click this again, the green part, and then all we gotta do is hit loop. Boom. All right, now we can start from the beginning and see how it sounds. Hopefully this helped you out. Thanks for watching.